channel it's Leash and uh, welcome back what I spend in a week as a student living in Manchester so yeah this is, you've probably only seen these for London so I thought why not do one for England's second city which is Manchester so yeah what? so I've just got my calculator and my notes so first of all is rent now rent I live in a shared student house i don't live in student accommodation i lived in student accommodation the first year and it was good for the first year but it was just so expensive um so yeah i have rent to pay for and i basically i have one room and then you have like a shared kitchen shared bathroom and i live with four other people uh, my room is pretty decent size so my, for my rent is 330 pounds a month so for a week, £22.50 a week, which I don't think is too bad for rent. Um, that's not including bills. So yeah, £82 a week. Now bills um, for this house is £45 a week per person. Um, and that's including Wi-Fi, gas, electricity. That's £11.25 a week, which I spend on bills. And then my water bill is £10 a month, so for that would be £2.50 a week. So that is pretty much it in terms of what it, what it costs me to live in Manchester. So for a week to live in Manchester already without having to add on food bills and everything like that, it's going to cost me. It's costing me £92.25 to live in Manchester per week. Um, which I think is not bad but yeah but then again I don't own the full house so I don't know how much a full house rent would be in Manchester so yeah currently as a student it's cost me £96.25 to live in food transport everything like that and this changes weekly so what I spend each week on this kind of thing fluctuates depending on what I'm doing that week or what's going on it's just recently been my birthday so some of the stuff that's in the, this particular report won't be spent weekly but yeah this is just what I spend roughly a week so the first one is food and groceries so i spent 29 pounds 78 at asda supermarket um yeah and that was pretty much a week's worth of food apart from i had to go back and do a top up one time for um my fresh produce and that was at aldi i went to aldi and i spent nine pounds 86 in aldi so that gives me a grand total of £39.64 which I know is enough to feed a family for a week so yeah I know that is a probably a bit high but I I don't really like to live off of like frozen pizzas and stuff like that I like to actually have like a lot of veg and salads and stuff and that can be well, that is more expensive than living off like noodles and stuff like that. And plus that includes um, toiletries, so things like shampoos, conditioners, you know, anything I buy from supermarket goes into there. Okay. Next thing I have is I bought some energy drinks from Wilco's in the town centre and that was £2.25 for a pack of four. So yeah, I, I probably should add that because I spent it, but I don't really want to add that. And then I also spent £3.20 at the corner shop. For transport, I would say transport in Manchester is pretty expensive, like especially back home. I used to always moan about bus prices back home, but since living in Manchester, the bus prices are so much more expensive. So I spent £4.50 on bus transportation and that was £3.50 one way and £1.50 to get somewhere else. So yeah, the bus is not the cheapest, I would say. Now we're going to move on to general shopping. So this is things like clothes shopping, takeaways, um, when I'm going out, anything I spend while I'm out, that kind of thing. Now I'm not working at the minute because my work's shut, so I'm living off student finance. 
and my savings so yeah it is possible to live off student finance i just prefer to have a job on the side so for general shopping the first one i did was i spent 20 pounds and 43p on delivery and that was for my birthday i wanted some, a nice takeaway for my birthday i don't spend takeaways i don't get takeaways pretty often but yeah so i spent 20 pounds on delivery in the same week i spent three pounds 49 at tim hortons i went to get a coffee one morning because i was up pretty early so i thought why not just go get a coffee so yeah i spent three pounds 49 at tim hortons so as we've been in lockdown i haven't really gone out very much like there's nowhere to go out so yeah and then on top of that i spent 10 pounds 99 on amazon which i will get that returned because the item that arrived i no longer need so yeah that will be returned and then i also spent 23 pounds 21 on ebay again this varies week to week i don't spend this amount each week so now i'm going to add this up and tell you how much i spent this all up and i am utterly shocked by how much i have spent i didn't realize how how much money i actually spend so the grand total was £177.51. You add on the eBay shop. I didn't add on the Amazon, well, the Amazon shop because that's going back. Add the eBay onto that and you're looking at £190, which is very expensive for a week. Like, I can't believe I pay that. <laughs> wow, that's like a real eye-opener to me that i spend that amount of money in a week i didn't even realize so i think coming up in the next few videos i might try and do live off 10 pounds a week we'll see how that goes but yeah most of so i spent i spend like an average of 96 pounds a week on bills and uh, on rent bills that kind of thing but then i also spend pretty much the same amount on everything else a week which is very expensive but like i said it changes week to week so if you were to look at um the other week when i didn't have any where i didn't spend anything else besides food then it would have been so much less but yeah i hope this was helpful to give some of you insight on what it's actually costing to live in a city um yeah if you, i let me know if that's a lot of money or not a lot of money to live in Manchester. Um, in my opinion, that's quite a lot. I can know that I can get that down if I, you know, really look at it and yeah, tweak it, it can go down. So yeah, I have that. So thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. Bye.